Hey there. going on this morning. Gonna try and get it all done. Get everything taken care of. Go about my morning in a productive fashion while sharing a few minutes with you guys, my friends. <laughs> my TikTok friends. Hello, TikTok friends. Woo! Okay. Got some bagels in the oven. I had two very pressing questions weighing on me this morning. One, hello, busy stays. Hello, Rebecca McMutter. Hello, Patricia Pruitt. Sorry if I'm yelling at anybody that's just tuning in. One thing you're gonna find out about my show is the volume can change. Give a little bit, give a little bit of your love to me. Oh, thank you so much for following the host. <laughs> I think I already got three follows already. What kind of tennis shoes do I wear? I don't know, John. Uh, they're honestly sock and running shoes that are falling apart. Good morning, Martha. I got three people following me already. That's so fun. In like two minutes. I talk about it a lot. One of my goals here in life. I'm getting a plate, so I'm going to hang here because I know you wouldn't want to not see my pretty face while I'm getting a plate out of the cupboard. Oh, there it goes. Uh, hello, I don't even know what your name is. Can't read it, but it ends in 451. Wasn't there a book, isn't there a book? Fahrenheit 451, uh, I think. Is that the right temperature? Where the, it's the temperature that paper burn goes on fire, I think. Uh, but anyway, I talk about it a lot. One of my goals here on TikTok is to hit 10,000 uh, followers. And I can't do it without new people following. So anyway, I appreciate those three or two or three uh, people that followed me this morning. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Uh, my name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. This is a show. Good morning, Sandra. I started a long time ago. It's a show that's evolving as I do, evolving as we all do, kind of growing. I like to say growing. It makes it seem so productive and scientific and what have you. And uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, but it's a show that's changing and it's a show that started a long time ago and it's a show that's taken on many uh, hey, I appreciate you. Cream cheese bagel, it sure is. Uh, uh, it's been on different social media formats. Oh, perfect. Woo, hot. Woo, 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 woo. Really hot bagel. Oh, I was talking about it. I had two big pressing questions uh, when I woke up this morning. One, what am I gonna do for breakfast because my milk was uh, expired. And two, I shaved my head last night. Did I need to shave it again this morning? So my answer to question one is, I'm gonna have a cream cheese bagel. And I'm gonna pick up some more milk today at the store when I'm hanging out with my son Augie, I think, although our schedule on Sunday doesn't generally allow for it. And question two is, uh, what was question two? Oh, do I need to shave my head twice? No, I don't need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And uh, good morning, Jack Taylor. Oh, wait a minute, I still, I'm gonna put my bagel down. I'm gonna put my bagel down. I'm gonna hope Holly doesn't eat it. She's actually a pretty good girl, so she probably won't. But for those that have been watching a while, and it's, sorry, I'm a little rough, I'm a little rushed on uh, Sunday mornings. I don't know why, not over the rush, but I'm watching you, Holly. Holly, good girl. Uh, you know this is also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. 
And with that in mind, I got a nice hot cup of coffee that I just poured. It's from a, uh, from a uh, pot I made at about six, I don't know, just after six this morning. And uh, I'm excited to have it. All right, Fizzy, thanks for tuning in for a brief moment. I appreciate you for watching. Don't know you. Don't know the name Fizzy, I don't think. But anyway, it's Sunday morning, and this is Coffee with Ken. Thank you so much for joining, everybody. I so appreciate you. I'm now where I need to be. Hey, somebody else just followed the host. I so appreciate that. That's so fun. What exercise do I do for my core? I need to. It's funny. I used to, I used to work out a lot. This is not a phase of my life where I'm working out right now. And I'm kind of okay with that. You know, over the last couple of months, I've been doing a bunch of stuff. Hello, Scott Concrete. And uh, it's just not a phase of my life where I'm that interested in working out. There's times when I'm super into it. That I've run a bunch of marathons in my life. I ran cross country and track in college. Uh, for about the longest time, I was starting every morning with some yoga and some sit-ups and some uh, planks and what have you. And... Uh, 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 hold on here. Kind of weird. Uh, a couple weird. Yeah, there they are. Hope we got our moderators on this morning. It looks like an exciting group. Looks like a fun group. Uh, yeah, a lot of funny people. But anyway, uh, no, I just haven't been exercising much. Uh, the last couple months just haven't really been my focus. I was uh, working as a, uh, a delivery guy for uh, UPS for a while, and that kept me uh, burning a heck of a lot of calories. Hello, Diane, and certainly getting in my steps. Uh, but that stopped a couple weeks ago, and just really kind of enjoying not, you know. School together, remember? Yeah. Good morning, Curly Fizz. Good morning, all. Hello, Joy. Thank you so much for joining. But anyway, I got a hot cup of coffee here. It's still steaming, and I'm excited to have some this morning. It's Sunday morning, and uh, I am uh, uh, looking forward to having a sip. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, uh, you get out there, or you have a hot cup of coffee in front of you, and uh, you're as excited about the day as I'm excited about the day. So cheers to us. Mm. Texas Twister. Is it Melissa or is it Laura? Thank you, Jack Taylor. Um, good morning, bud. Have you man? Uh, no, Otis Redding, I have not yet. Guys, let me just say something, Otis Redding. I don't know. Is that the way you'd walk up to somebody? Hey, good morning. Have you finished your divorce? It's so weird. I'm a human being. Otis said, I don't even think you mean it in a bad way. I don't even think you mean it in a bad way. But Otis, would you go out in life and walk up to go, hey, buddy, have you finished your divorce? That's the first thing you're going to say to somebody on a Sunday morning. It's weird. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm having a sip of coffee and somebody goes hey you finished your divorce <laughs> what do you do for a living i'm drinking some coffee everybody chill out <laughs> seriously it's so weird uh, anyway i do enjoy this i do enjoy this despite the occasional frustrations that come uh come from uh this and uh but i'm punching through you thought that my page was about divorce? What's my favorite cult classic movie? If I had to say one, the one that jumps out to me, what was the very first uh, 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 zombie movie back in like 65? It had, a, uh, the star was a black dude, which was rare for the time. And uh, what is it called? Something of the dead, uh, something of the dead. Something of the Dead. And the very first uh, Something of the Dead. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Uh, hey, Kitty Cardstock, how are you? Was it Dawn of the Dead? Was it Dawn of the Dead? 
I did see Night of the Living Dead, and it was hilarious. It was hilarious. Right? It was kind of a spoof on the other ones. Let me have a bite of my bagel. Mmm. Mmm. Got a little cream cheese on my mouth. Mmm. Um, yeah, it was, came out in like 85 or something, uh, Night of the Living Dead, and I think it was a comedy. Yeah, so that was great. I like a bunch of Tarantino movies. Obviously, Pulp Fiction was a classic. I struggle a little bit with uh, some Tarantino movies because he can be, you know, I think he uses violence almost as a joke. <laughs> which is a strange joke, which is a strange joke. And uh, uh, what did I see? Uh, Django Unchained was a very good movie, but there was just some vicious scenes of uh, uh, slavery that were hard to watch, were really hard to watch and were off-putting. And, uh, you know, I think I saw Hateful Eight. That was good. And uh, what else? Uh, what was the one right before, I think, Pulp Fiction? What was the one right before Pulp Fiction? Um, where the guy's ear, and I hate even saying it because it gives me the cringes. Some guy's ear gets cut off. It's really nasty. It's a really good movie. Uh, it's really a good movie. But again, he uses almost violence as a sense of humor. And I think that's hard for me a little bit. Uh, what did I see the other day? Uh, that was a Quentin Tarantino movie that was really good. Not the other day, a couple months ago. Um, uh, what did I say? Uh, Inglorious Bastards. No, yeah, Reservoir Dogs. That one hurt me to watch. You know what I mean? That one hurt me to watch. And it was just a little more pain than I could handle. Coffee's right here, Jason. Good morning from Florida. Uh, Inglorious Bastards, if you're cyan. Uh, American Psycho. Is that what that guy from Wales that I was talking about yesterday that has an accent? I don't think I've seen American Psycho in its whole. Before I talk too long, guys, you know it's Sunday morning. And uh, uh, Sundays are my day I get to spend with my son. Hello, Noah. Sundays are my day I get to spend... Uh, yeah, Christian Bale was American Psycho. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've seen it in its entirety. Gentleman was so good. <laughs> um, oh, it's Sunday morning, and that's the day I get to spend with my son, Augie. And uh, uh, so I got to leave here at 8. Uh, what's a great movie? Private Aiden. <laughs> Liz, I took a... I got to leave here at 8.45 or so to get to his mom's house to pick him up and start my day. So don't let me talk too long, please. Uh, Liz, my music reminds you of sitting in a dentist chair. I just added this music at the request of several viewers. Uh, I mean, I, added, ah! <laughs> I did a video about being jumpy the other day. I was lifting up my hand. I knocked my plate. My bagels almost fell over. Uh, they didn't almost fall over, but it scared me. And, uh, hi, Holly Jolly. What do you need? You want a bagel? You have food, sweetie. You have food. I just saw you have a bowl of food. And you have a bone right over there. You got a bone right over there. You got two bones and some food. Um, let me have another bite, because while you guys kind of chat. Uh, how's Holly? Holly's doing great. She's doing great. She's got a little spittle. <laughs> the, here, let me show you. Kind of more information than you need. I don't know if you can see it. Got a line of spit because she's got kind of jowls. And uh, uh, she's got jowls. And uh, her vet went fine. It was easy. Uh, uh, she shakes her jowls and the spittle comes flying up. And uh, sometimes stays on her brow. And she's showing it to you. She's pretty proud of it. She's pretty proud of, proud of it. Um, hi, good girl. What is it that you want? You want to go out back? Maybe she wants to go out back. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to make a live after I return with my boy. I appreciate it. He's on occasionally, but I, you know, it's a little more challenging to go live uh, with Augie. I like giving him love. 
I like to be pretty consistent, so when I have them sleep over, how are you gonna go out? Um, when I have him sleep over, uh, and again, I like to, wow, well, you get out of there. No, you go outside, or I'm gonna not give you the bagel. She wants the bagel, I'm not gonna give it to her. No, I gotta get to my coffee. I gotta make, get to my coffee. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, Kathy, I'd say a little too much. You know, if I want to share, you know, it's kind of funny. If I want to share, uh, you know, I'm going to share, but yeah. <laughs> hey, John, thank you so much for following the host. Um, thank you so much for following the host. I so appreciate that. Again, I have a ton of fun here. I enjoy this. It's kind of like therapy. It's the way I cope. I used to do it with, uh, oh, making a live. Yeah, no, I don't want to do it. I don't know necessarily with my son. You know, the only reason I have him in a couple of my lives is because he sleeps over and he's here at eight o'clock. Uh, you know, he's not my showpiece or anything. He's not <laughs> picturing in 10 years the movie credits that is Coffee with Ken because clearly it's going to be a movie <laughs> and it's going to be co-starring August Tracy. I wonder if his stage name will be August or Augie. Or whatever. Um, yeah, he's a beautiful little chunk of love. He's a beautiful little chunk of love. Uh, he's so much fun to hang out with. And just and I might have said this on the video the other day. He's just learned to kiss because he's got a little sister. And uh, uh, he's just learned to kiss. And uh, I mean... I don't bring this up. I mean, I've mentioned it. Occasionally, he has Down syndrome. And I'm, it's nothing I'm ashamed of, but it's not, I'm not, it's interesting because I haven't, I'm not making Down syndrome my cause or anything like that. Augie is Augie and I love him and I'm his dad. So when I see him, I don't see, uh, you know, yeah, I know he's got Down syndrome, if that makes sense, but I don't see him as a cause to fight for necessarily. He's just my boy, and I love the stuffing out of him. But it's kind of relevant for this story, and for some reason, he has his mouth open a lot, and he gives these open mouth kisses, and it's the sweetest little thing, and he's learning to kiss his sister and be gentle with his little sister, and uh, uh, I was saying goodbye. I dropped him off at his grandma's, not his grandma's, his mom's house, but his grandma was watching the other day, and uh, I don't know, I kissed him goodbye and he gave me an open mouth kiss. And it was the sweetest little thing because he's a little uh, bundle of love. Yeah, he's just my kid. He's just my kid. He's my boy. He's my son. And it's so amazing because, you know, I'm far. I'm not, ugh, I never thought I'd be, feel this way, but it's awesome. And again, I, um, I think uh, I think it's almost an experience that everyone should have. And I don't want to talk about it too much because I just said it's not my cause or anything like that. And uh, what? Oh, she's mad at me about the bagels. She's mad at me about the bagels. Uh, but I get it. I agree with that. I didn't see what you're saying. Mm. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I'll tell you what, he is an angel, and he's a perfect little angel, Sherry. I'm, and I said it on my morning video, sorry to talk with my mouth full, but I do got to go soon, I think. What time is it? Hold on. I got 10 minutes. I'm going to put on my watch so I can keep track of it and not stress. But when we go to the store or we go to church... I can see people looking at them and they're always smiling. And they're always, um, I don't know. Yeah, this bagel with cream cheese is pretty dang good, by the way. I was pleased. I was pleased. Because, honestly, there's two ways to buy cream cheese. There might be more than two, but there's two that I'm familiar with. There's one that comes in the little plastic tubs. And that can stay in your fridge quite some time without going bad. But about a month or two ago, it also comes in kind of the way butter's wrapped in a piece of foil or whatever. Uh, they're in a piece of foil and uh, 
you open that up and you can't seal it tight. And uh, the cheese can go bad. Is it anybody's birthday? Wait, Tess Tackles? Oh, ha, ha, that's funny, Harry. I got it. Thank you. Well, you guys are busy. Thank God I, I thank you, by the way, to the moderators uh, that work so hard and that don't get any, that, you know, honestly get, uh, get some backlash and get some stuff and have to do stuff and don't get rewarded at all. I don't pay anybody anything. Well, you got to tune in, John, on Thursday then. Yeah, we do, Jack Taylor. Hi, Holly. Holly's really not pleased with me. And I don't blame her. I mean, she's a good girl. Look at this. There's bagels right here, and there's Holly right there. I mean, she's a really good girl for not, like, lunging at them and gobbling up the bagels. And I kind of feel bad. Okay, I feel bad enough that I'm going to give her some because she's been a good girl. I'm going to take this little chunk of bagel. It's got a little bit of cream cheese. Look how excited she is. Look how excited she is. This is like making her life... <laughs> That was fun. Uh, so it's Sunday. It looks like a beautiful day here in Naperville. Temperature's going to be in the 40s. And uh, I'm going to be rolling soon when I get to this bagel, when I eat it. And maybe I got to go because I'm feeling bad. Um, hello, Phil. What are you going to do today with your son? Uh, our Sundays are pretty simple. Our Sundays are pretty simple. Uh, we kind of got a set routine. I pick him up at his mom's house. Sometimes I'll love on him there for a while. If I love on him there, we'll go right to church afterwards. I drop him off at the playroom. Sometimes he loves it right away. Sometimes he's a little upset and he misses his dad. Honestly, you know, I love that he misses me, but I don't want him to be upset. So it's kind of a weird feeling. Uh, then about halfway or two thirds of the way through the service, I go get him. And I hold them and we listen to the music and we watch the smoke and we just have a uh, great time kind of watching the music and the performance and the smoke and the lights. And he looks around <laughs> and is so excited. Um, if we don't hang out at his mom's, we might go to Starbucks, eat some pretzels, eat some whipped cream. After church, he's usually getting kind of tired, to be honest. And we come back here, we have some lunch, we play around on the floor a little bit, hopefully... <laughs> I've swept up most of the dog hair, most of the holly hair. Uh, I put him down from a nap from like 1.30 to 3.30. He wakes up at like 3.30. Uh, I usually bring him into bed and we cuddle in bed for a little while, but he doesn't care about the cuddling. The reason he likes to go to the bed is because uh, I have a teddy bear in there. I sleep with a teddy bear named Barry. It's something my daughter's got me for, got it for me years ago. And I, I don't even care. People make fun of it. I don't. Care. I like cuddling with things. I'm a cuddler. <laughs> I'm a cuddler, right? Whether it's a pillow or my teddy bear or whatever. But anyway, Augie doesn't think it's so fun to cuddle with my teddy bear. What he likes to do is push Barry off the bed. And he could do that all day. Well, because I always cheer and I go, Oh no, I'm falling. It's Barry falling off the bed. And he goes, <laughs> He's so happy about it. He's so proud of himself. That he shoves my pet, my teddy bear off the bed. I was uh, fighting with him the other day. The other day when he slept over, like I said, he was he's into knocking things down, and he was any time on the couch. His goal was to push the pillows on the floor, and <laughs> it was kind of frustrating me a little bit, honestly. And the bigger issue wasn't that he was pushing them on the floor; it's that I hadn't done a good job sweeping, and there were. Holly hairs all over. Uh, <laughs> there were holly hairs all over. Uh, and the hairs were kind of poofing up and getting on the pillows and getting on my couch. Uh, very heartwarming to see a good... And, you know, I'm not any, even slightly a perfect dad. I would imagine all dads love their kids. You know, I bet all dads love their kids. Uh, you know, I just, I'm, not a, I'm not even slightly a perfect dad. I just love my kids. I love the stuffing out of things. 
And I love my kids, you know. I might maybe forget to brush his teeth every once in a while. <laughs> Although he doesn't even have all his teeth, so I'm not totally sure. <laughs> anyway, his teeth are going to fall out, so I'm not totally sure if it's important to brush, but I was brushing him the other day, and he's only got like six or eight. And obviously his mom's been working with him as well because he would hold the toothbrush and hold it in his mouth and sit there. He didn't really move it side to side or anything, but I think we're just getting him used to it. Uh, well, thank you, Sherry, for understanding that. Um... And uh, he'd hold on to it and kind of sit there. It must be really good tasting. It's funny, he's teething. I don't know if it's funny or not, but he's teething. This has been a whole long show about Augie. He's teething. And uh, so he gets um, either baby Tylenol or baby ibuprofen from time to time. They must make it flavored really well. They must make it taste really, really well, good because, I don't know, it's medicine. Ugh. I remember when I was a kid... And I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> Do you guys remember the aspirin that wasn't even coated? The aspirin that wasn't even coated. And I'm pretty good at swallowing pills. Uh, I'm pretty, yeah, that's why. Uh, I'm pretty good at swallowing pills. Um, but uh, the aspirin that wasn't coated is so nasty. And my mom used to crush it up and put it on like a scoop full of strawberry jam or something. But again, the, even the grit of it kind of makes me sick. <laughs> However, medicine's come a long way since I was a child. <laughs> and now, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean, John? I don't know if you're of the age, but you know, the, the, the non-coated, like just bare aspirin. And I can drink them now because I know to bring a lot of water with it but the non-coated bare aspirin mm. kind of sticks to your mouth and you're going it's hard to almost swallow, <laughs> swallow it down might be more information than you need <laughs> but I promise you I struggled with them as a uh, uh, kid and my mom would grind it up and put it in jelly or something and it tastes gritty you know she was being sweet and doing the best she could because they didn't have children's baby Tylenol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty nasty. But um, anyway, it's about 8.30 and it's Sunday. So Sundays are kind of my short day. I so appreciate you guys. I so appreciate you guys. And I so appreciate you following the host. Again, I talk about it every day. My goal is to get to uh, 10,000 TikTok followers by March 31st. I think I can. Um but it's going to take work, honestly. It's going to take work. It's going to, you know, but I don't really consider this work. This is fun for me and uh, feels good for me. And I think is a way that I cope. Uh, oh, my God. Ideal. Okay, Jack Taylor, you're going to keep me around. It's a way I cope with anxiety and thoughts and an active mind. Uh, my ideal Sunday breakfast, I go all the time. Uh, it would either be like a ham and cheese and mushroom omelet, definitely hash browns, definitely a side of pancakes, definitely an endless supply of hot coffee, and that's it. Maybe some toast as well, but I probably wouldn't eat the toast and the pancakes. If I don't do the omelet, everything else stays the same, and I might have country fried steak with a ton of gravy. Ooh. All right. If money is no object, if money is no object, and I don't... Uh, I appreciate you, John. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I would always have a side of biscuits and gravy. I would always have a side of biscuits and gravy. So it, might, it was no object, and it kind of tends to be right now. It always is. I don't want to waste food or even waste money. Uh, I'd have like a big plate for everyone to share of biscuits and gravy in the middle. Uh, yeah, with good, if it's done right, that everyone could share and just scoop out some on their plate because that gravy is so, 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 so good. Uh, so again, it'd either be a ham, cheese, and egg omelet, country fried steak. Sometimes if I'm feeling simple, I'll just order some ham and eggs. And again, I got to have the hash browns because that's fun. And the pancakes are a nice uh, uh, thing to add. And uh, anyway, 
So it's 8.30. I still got to finish my bagels. I got to pack my to-go bag, which means diapers, wipies, some cuties, which are the little baby oranges. Although I bought some oranges that are called cuties, but they don't peel very well, so I'm a little disappointed. Uh, some pretzels in a Tupperware and a pacifier and hit the road. And I got to do that in 10 minutes. And uh, no, I did not forget the grits. Grits are worthless to me. Sorry, people from the South. I did not see. I mean, grits are like malto meal and malto meal is good, but I certainly don't need grits. They always get uh, uh, wasted. So, uh, hey, thank you so much, everybody, for joining. I haven't sung happy birthday in a while, so I'll be ready to do it next time it's somebody's birthday. I so appreciate you guys for watching. I really do. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this morning. Hope you follow my page. Hope you like my videos. Uh, hope you have an awesome, awesome day. I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And uh, uh, as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.